in my previous video, which you can click the link here to go back and watch, I created an Outlook email template. I did that by simply creating a new email and then saving the parts of it that were relevant to be put into a template. But in that video, I showed that it was actually kind of convoluted to launch that template from Outlook itself. You need to go to new items to more items and then choose choose form. And then from this dialog box, you need to change from standard forms library to user templates in the file system in order to find the template that you want and to launch it. And that is a fairly long process. So what I'll be doing here is going ahead and just highlighting the path that you take to get to this template. That is the location on my hard drive of where this template file is saved. And once I have that, I can use this in two different ways. Either I can pin this template to my Outlook button at the bottom of the screen, or I can use this in a macro to launch the template. So I'll start off with pinning it to the Outlook menu. So I'm going to go ahead and close this window. Just go down to the Windows button in the bottom left-hand corner of my screen and literally just paste that location that I copied directly into that box. Notice it says, yes, I actually have a folder with that name. So I'm just going to click on that search result right there. And you can see that the agenda for upcoming event template file that I created earlier is sitting right here. Now, what you do is you grab this agenda for upcoming event file, click and drag it down to the bottom of the screen, and you find your Outlook icon. When you find your Outlook icon and you're hovering there, it says that you can pin it to your Outlook 2016. So now when I let go, as you can see here, agenda for upcoming event is now available on this menu. Now watch how we use that. At any point, I can go down and right click on the Outlook icon and agenda for upcoming event is one of my pinned templates. I can then click on it and it will launch a new copy of that email. Beautiful. Now, another way of doing the same thing is to create a button in your interface using a macro. Now, to use this macro, we do need to go to the File tab in the top left-hand corner, choose Options, and make sure that on Customize the Ribbon that we click the checkbox for the Developer tab right here. So I click on Developer, and this will give me the features I need in order to work with macros in Microsoft Outlook. I click OK, and now I go to the Developer tab. So what I need now is a little snippet of code to work from. And as you can see here, I have a notepad file. You can download this from my blog post that you'll see linked below. And there are four different macros that you can use. You can see here this macro is for emailing with a template in Windows 7. And this one is for replying with a template in Windows 7. I happen to be running Windows 10, and so I'll be using email with a template in Windows 10 or I could use reply with a template in Windows 10. So I'm using email with a template in Windows 10. And as you can see here, it's asking me for the file location. And so what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and paste what I copied right here. So C, users, my uh, login information, app data, roaming, Microsoft, templates. You don't want to have to do that manually, so definitely copy and paste that. But then right here, the file name, we'll just need to make sure we know what that file name was. It's agenda for upcoming event.oft. So let's type that in here. Agenda for upcoming event.oft. Great. That is what we need in our macro. Just these four lines right here. We have a new macro, a new sub, as you see here. We have the end of that macro, the end sub. It says we set the message to a copy of that template file and we display the message just that easy. So I'll just copy what I've highlighted here and go back to Microsoft Outlook. So now that I have the developer tab at the top of my screen, 
I click on Visual Basic over here on the left and I open up Project One and I open up Microsoft Outlook over here on the left hand side and I'm looking for this Outlook session. So I double click and that opens this up here as a blank sheet of paper and I'm just pasting it. Now you want to be clear here, anything that turns red is signifying an error of some kind. So when I paste this, I'm hoping I see nothing but blue text and black text in here. And if that's the way it's set up, then everything is going to work perfectly. Now I save this and close it. And if I want to, I can now go to the macros drop down menu and go to project one dot this outlook session dot email template, but I prefer to work with buttons. So instead, what I'll do here is I'll use the drop down menu here on the quick access toolbar at the top of my screen, go to more commands, the second one from the bottom. And over here on the left, you notice right now by default, I'm looking at my popular commands. I'm just going to switch over here to macros. And as you can see, that macro right there, use email template with Windows 10, I can go ahead and add that. Now this is kind of an obnoxious name for it and an obnoxious little button. So I'll hit modify on the right hand side. And um, let's see, a new email button. None of these buttons are particularly good, but uh, let's go ahead and use that one. And then for the name, I'll do something like uh, agenda email and click OK. And click OK. And now anytime I want to, I can go to the top of my screen, hover right there, and I see that this button is for my agenda email. And when I push it, a new copy of that template comes up. So again, in the last video, you watched me create that template file and use it, but using it was too many steps. And so you can either pin it to the uh, Outlook button on your taskbar at the bottom of the screen, or use a macro to create a button right there in your Outlook interface and push that button anytime you like.